Perplexity has over 15 million monthly active users and it's quickly becoming the go-to tool for research. But here's the thing, most people are still using Perplexity like beginners. Sure, you can use Perplexity to manually research your content topics one at a time, but what if AI could do this for you automatically in the place where you're currently managing your content, like Notion, for example. Imagine simply writing down a blog topic idea, setting the status to researching, and watching as AI instantly finds sources compiles research and updates your Notion page all on its own. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use perplexity on beast mode. I'll show you how to turn perplexity into your personal content research engine. Let me show you how. So here I am inside my Notion workspace. I'm looking at the blog articles database that the team uses to basically work on the different blog articles that we're publishing. So all I need to do is um, add a new uh, topic idea. So I might do something like how AI uh, empowers non specials to automate their work. So that's my idea. I can open this one up and we actually are leveraging like a Notion uh, template. So already have some like AI fields that we can use. But at the bottom here, you can see we've got a section research perplexity research results. So this is a placeholder. And then what I can simply do is if I go up here to the status and set this to researching, in a couple of seconds, this should update and we should get those perplexity research results added directly here in Notion. And we can see just like that, the results have been pulled in. So we have all the different topics that maybe we'd need to cover in this article. So understanding and leveraging AI, automation and workflow efficiency, all of those with the citations. And at the bottom here, you see all the different sources that are cited throughout the research. So typically we'd need to go and do this manually for each article. And um, what we can do now is basically in a notion base, just put down a bunch of ideas, do this in bulk, let's say 20, 30 ideas that you and the team have, set them to researching and have this preliminary research done for all of your ideas. And then what's great is you have the different uh, article sources. I can just open this one up in one click from notion, maybe find some useful quotes that I could also use in my article. So in terms of how this automation works, we're using the automation platform make.com. And if you're interested in setting this up for yourself, in the description below, I'll leave a link to a fully written tutorial where you'll also be able to get the make blueprint. So the tutorial will go through step-by-step step how to set this up in make and also in notion automation. So this one actually starts with a notion automation where we're leveraging a webhook. And so that one set up is that whenever a notion uh, blog article gets set to researching, we're gonna trigger this make scenario. And the data that we get sent is we basically get information about which Notion item um, just changed its status to researching. And down here in the properties, if I have a look at name, we need to click through a little bit, we can see we get the name of that blog article. So how AI enables non-tech professionals to automate their work. This we get into our make scenario. We can now use this dynamically in other steps of the automation. And so the next step is here, we're using Perplexity's API. And this is what I mean by perplexity on beast mode. It doesn't mean that someone needs to manually go to perplexity and type in everything that you wanna research. You can leverage this in an API, meaning you can do it directly from whatever tool you're using, and you can do this for many topics at once. So here the way this one is set up is we just have a prompt giving some specific instructions on how we'd like the research to be done. And then down here, I'm basically dynamically passing in that topic of our blog article for it to research. In terms of the results, we can take a look here. There's two interesting points. So first of all, down here in this little choices array, what we get is the result. So here is the research that uh, Perplexity has done, also with the um, citation numbers here. And this is what we add in the next step to the block of our Notion uh, page. But also we get access to these citations. So this is all of those sources that you saw um, listed at the bottom of the Notion page. So then all we need to do in make is use a couple of Notion actions. So the one being here, append a database item content. And here I'm simply adding that all of that research as a paragraph to the Notion page, to the bottom of the page. And then I'm adding a citations heading. So I know there's gonna be the heading come next citations. Then what I do is I loop through all of those citations. So you see one by one, we have these citations in a list one for each citation that Perplexity give us. And we simply again use the append database item to add all of those, in this case, five citations. Now guys, what's super powerful about this automation is that it's entirely flexible. I've shown you the example with Notion, but it really works wherever you are doing your content research, whether that you're listing ideas in 
Google Sheets, you can pull that in and run perplexity against every item in the Google Sheet. If you're doing it in Airtable or Google Docs, it's really up to you. Whatever tool you're using, chances are they have a make integration and you can now use perplexity on beast mode at scale rather than needing to do the research one by one. So guys, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, make sure to give it a like and also subscribe to the 9X channel. Otherwise, also click on the screen right now and watch more of our AI and automation tutorials. Until next time, happy automating.